The first printout of Hawaii's election results was originally expected shortly after 7 o'clock tonight when the service voting centers at Honolulu Hale and Kapolei Hale were supposed to close. But at 7 p.m., there were still hundreds of people waiting to cast their ballots. It's now 9 o'clock. Sam Spangler is live at Honolulu Hale. Sam, what's the situation there now? Joe, about 20 minutes ago, election officials told me that 9.30 would be the earliest that we would see the first printout, but the line has been moving so fast that I think it might be mere minutes instead of an hour like it was. I want to show you, I'm going to take you around to the end of the line, which had been snaked all the way out to the parking garage pretty much all night, but it's moving very quickly now. This is the end of the line. We're looking at about 50 yards from the voting center. So that is good news. The long lines both here at Honolulu Hale and at Kapolei Hale were backed up throughout the afternoon, and we talked to election officials about why that was. We have a lot of people who decided to come on the last day. Uh, you know, we've been, this is the 13th day, uh, from days 1 to 12, we, we had no line. Uh, so a lot of people decided today uh, they wanted to come in, they wanted to come in and register to vote for the very first time, uh, update their voter registration, and just exercise their right to vote. Uh, we're very happy to see that you know, a lot of people are in a, still in a good mood. Um, they have taken very seriously their right to vote, and uh, we will ensure that they get the right to vote. We'll uh, process this entire line. The instructions we have from the Office of Elections is just inform them when the last person votes, and then, bam, they can release what was supposed to be the 7 o'clock report. Now, that should be any minute now, as we see this line is increasing. It was about 20 feet that those people that were just at the end of the line got to advance. Now, those people got in line at 7 o'clock. They told me that the people behind them, there was about four or five that did, in fact, get cut off. But anybody who made it in line by 7 o'clock, by law, is allowed to vote. And we aren't allowed to release any of the election results with the printouts until those last people have voted. Again, we're looking at probably, I'm guessing right now, 15, 20 minutes until those people get inside the, the voting service center and then get to cast their ballots. Now, I talked to people as well about why they waited, why they didn't just mail in their ballots. Some wanted to see their ballot actually get counted. Mostly, it was just people who hadn't registered to vote yet. So, some last-minute procrastination. Joe, I'm a millennial. I'm sorry, but it's what we do. It's a lot of younger people. Joe, we'll send it back to you in the studio. All right. Thanks, Sam. Even though it is now 2 a.m. on the east coast of the mainland, President Trump says he will be making a statement tonight. We will go to that live uh, when it happens. We don't know when specifically that uh, will be, but we will take it live. But let's check with Gina Mangieri, who's at the convention center where the ballots are counted. She'll be tracking the local results tonight. Gina? Now, just as soon as those last polls close, they can release what they already know and have counted in this room here behind me. And that's about 530,000 ballots that were cast by mail and Dropbox up through yesterday from all of the counties. Now, the person in charge of all of that is Scott Nago, the chief election officer who joins me here tonight. Scott, this, this same day turnout to register and vote. Did you expect to see anything like it with these kinds of delays and these kinds of lines? You know, um, we've seen it on the mainland. We just haven't seen it here, but we've seen it now, so that's what it is. What early lessons do you take away from this when you see that now, even despite being, people could have gone to the polls yesterday or in a dozen days before that, despite getting a, a ballot in their mailbox or being encouraged to register, it was still left to today. Mm -hmm. What will you do next time to cut back on this a little bit and on this wait? So once this election is over, we'll um, sit down with all the county clerks, um, debrief, see what went well, what didn't go well, what we can do better. Um, I'm sure they're going to want to make sure that this kind of thing doesn't happen again, but we just have to wait till after the election so we can sit down and talk with them. A good problem to have, though. Again, it shows voter engagement, the opposite of apathy, and we, we had years of declining voter percent turnout anyway. Now, all things together, mm -hmm. everybody who mailed in and dropped off, everybody who's in line today, it's a smash record with turnout. Yes. What does that tell you? Well, it, it, 
tells you that when you make voting easy or accessible, um, more people are likely to do it. But I don't want to attribute everything to voting by mail. It could be different things such as the pandemic. It could be presidential election. I just don't know which one it is. It could be a mix of all three. It's hard to say. Okay. And what do you think you might do for messaging? You, there was so much messaging. You couldn't, you couldn't miss it, whether it was on, on our air, on the Internet, in the newspaper. Uh, people knew one to send in their ballot. They knew to register by mail. And yet again, we see a lot of uh, last minute get up and go. Will you start earlier next time? Will you reach out in different ways? What can you do to get through to even these potential voters who, as we see tonight, want to register last minute? I think uh, one of the messaging that we would have to do is start with the um, don't wait, don't delay. You don't know what you're going to encounter on the last day. I know the city clerk was on the air yesterday saying that expect delays at the um, long lines at the voter service centers. I think getting that message out sooner maybe would perhaps alleviate some of that. Um, I'm not sure. Like I said, after the election, we'll sit down, talk about it, and see what we can do to make this better. All right. Good luck to you on your transition there into following years. Thank you, sir. Thank and you. then again, Scott Nago, Chief Election Officer. Now, we're going to be bringing you all the results from here. And as we said, there's going to be about 530,000 votes. That's 66 percent of all of registered voters turn in. And, and on islands like the Big Island, I know from even their count that they gave me up through midday today, they had gone past the 80 percent uh, capacity in terms of the the turnout and that was just as of midday so these first results are going to give us still the lion's share of the votes everyone who's in line today their votes definitely count they're very important but whenever this first pass comes it's going to be a whole bunch of votes in the primary it was 90 percent we'll see what that comes to today